Hello everyone, it is December the 10th in the morning and I am out in my garage and it's quite cold. It's like 30 degrees out. Anyway, the reason why I'm out here, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on the past week or so. And this is it. And this is the garage. And this is the way it looks right now. It is a dreadful mess. I'm taking out Michelle's car spot, so I gotta get this done quickly. Anyway, so when we moved in to this house, we had built it and we did a lot of the work ourselves. And one of the things that we had to do to get our UNO, or U, yeah, UNO, um, was to get this garage finished. And we threw this together so fast, we threw the drywall up and we mudded it really fast. Well, we didn't do such a good job. You can see how the mud is just kind of like slapped up there. Anyway, we never really did anything with it in the past 17 years that we've been here and you can see the drywall is peeling away and I never put a top coat on the tape so it was a mess anyway so we've decided to try to get this garage really organized and in order to do that we have to buy some more cabinets so along this wall here is where the cabinets are going to go and I actually have tape that shows where it's roughly going to be and I'm going to have it start there. It's gonna go all the way across to the other side of the room here, right about there. So, took on the task of redoing the drywall. I pulled all the old tape off of this back wall and Michelle and I sanded it down last night and then we put new tape up. Hopefully, it will be good enough for a top coat and then finish it and, and then prime and paint it but anyway we're still debating whether or not we should rip the rest of this drywall down as opposed to sanding and redoing it seems kind of wasteful but it might actually be easier because sanding this even with a vacuum is uh very tedious and it's making everything quite dusty in here so uh anyway that's what we've been working on and uh that's what i'll be continuing to work on and this cold weather isn't helping things because i've had to run a heater in here to try to keep it a little bit warm so that the mud dries out. So today we are going to be going out to get a Christmas tree. Yay! So um, we're gonna go try to go to a cut or choose and cut Christmas tree place. Uh, that's what we usually do every year. And usually it's very, very cold. It's raining or there's a foot of snow on the ground. Well this year it's sort of cold. It's going to go up to like 35 degrees I think today. So anyway that's what we're going to do and we'll bring you guys along with us. See you soon. Whew. It is cold outside. Lots of heat. <sighs> so we're looking at some pellets, those to replace our old aging one. So we stopped off at Hardy's to get some lunch. I've got the bacon three way burger. Michelle got the bacon, beer, cheese, burger. Looks pretty good. Can't wait to try it. I've never had this one before. Parties. So we're back in the Suzu Trooper and we are going to try to find a Christmas tree, although it is getting rather late in the day. And they close at like four o'clock, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to find one. Connor's got a saw. <laughs> Trees this way. We're waiting on Garrett. He's supposed to meet us here. It's a bit chilly outside. Whew. 
That one's nicely shaped, Michelle. This one? Yeah. This is the one I want. I think that's too small. Well, you said you wanted a smaller one. That is a really good piece, though. It's kind of bare on this side. This is going to be the wall side, then. Turkey! I just heard a turkey. Oh, look at the turkeys. They do. Pretty cool. Someone's got some pet turkeys. They're coming over to see you, Michelle. They got some uh, toms and uh, females. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said make a left, right? So these are probably all the taller trees, babe. What do you think? It's not shaped real well though. I better like the other one better. Garrett's here. here. I am. Hey Garrett, on. A tiny baby tree. Do you want to cut it down? It's too tall and too small. Do you think it's too tall? Yes. Yeah, it is. It's awful thin, though. It is. It's oh, the one here. Apparently, that is not the tree. We're going to keep looking because it's too crooked. We sort of like this one, but it has had bagworms in the past, and they've kind of cleared out this area of the tree. Uh. Okay, so this is the last stop here on this property. Maybe we'll find something. We're running out of space. Yeah, space. We're running out of time. And it's getting colder and colder. I want that one. Alright, let's see what the bottom looks like. It's pretty straight. Sort of, kind of. To expect to be a Here, it's a little crooked, but it's, not, it's spittable in the thing. All right. Biggest one out of the bunch here, didn't you? Probably. <laughs> uh, when I get up there, we'll straighten it up, and I'll take whatever you need off. So, uh, so. Going to be on YouTube? I don't know. My, my, my kids might like it. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to get a small one, and that's not small. If you would mind, would somebody help me load yeah, this up? Sure. That'll be ten dollars. Yeah, grab it, grab it on the 
Don't break the top. We treat the top of the tree like a baby. That's the most important part. You weren't listening, were you? Yeah. Were you me? No, I wasn't listening. What did you say? I said that's a $10 discount. $10 discount? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was 70 now. <laughs> All right, we'll see you up there. You are. Hey, does anybody want to ride? I only got room for you want to ride, ride huh? I'm good. Ah, I knew you probably said yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's where they turn Worn out now. Back up the hill. Check the moon out. They get bigger every year. She's smiling. She's hole. laughing about it. This is the hole. Yeah, a tree. <laughs> Just like Megan. Yeah, that's what my wife says. That's not too big. I cut it down. I'm like, honey, it's like ten and a half feet. We got the tree home. Now it's time to get it set up to put on the tree stand and then put it in the house. The only problem is, is it's about a foot too large. And I've already taken about 10 inches off of it. So the top of the tree is gonna to have to get lopped off. The tree is up. It is a gymungous tree. I don't think gymungous is a word. I just made it a word. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Garrett, go stand next to it. We need some perspective. Come on, that one, Connor. Can't even fit the whole thing in the frame. Yes, that is it. It's almost touching the ceiling. Almost. About a half inch to spare. <laughs>